Okay, so let's look at part A then. So in the first part we have to find that expression for dy dx, so I'll just copy out what we've got. y equals 4x plus 3x to the power 3 over 2 and then minus 2x squared. So therefore if we differentiate dy dx equals differential of 4x is 4 then we have plus and we've got times 3 with the power 3 over 2 so 3 times 3 over 2 is 9 over 2 drop the power by 1 so 1 away from 3 over 2 is going to be x to the power half then onto the third term minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 drop the power by 1, that's x to the power 1, so we just leave it as minus 4x. So there we have part A. Part B, we've got to show that the point 48 lies on C. So to do this we just need to substitute x equals 4 into the equation above. Okay, so we just say when x equals 4, find out what y is, hopefully we can show that it will come to 8. So when x is 4, y will equal 4 times 4, then it's plus 3 times x to the power 3 over 2, so that would be plus 3 times the x value, 4 to the power 3 over 2, minus 2 times 4 squared. Alright, so let's just work this out now. 4 times 4 we know is 16. 4 to the power 3 over 2, so that means take the square root of 4, which is 2, and then cube it, which is 8. Then 3 times 8 is 24, so we have 16 so far plus 24. 4 squared is 16, 2 16 is 32, minus 32. So 16 add 24, take 32. Yes, that's right, it comes to 8. So, therefore, we can say that the point P, which is 4, 8, lies on C. There you have it. Okay, so that's part B done. Now we come on to part C. So, we've now got to find the equation of a normal. A normal is a straight line then, and any straight line, let's just remind you, has the format y minus y1. Oops, that's not good. Let's just rub that out. y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. Okay, where x1, y1 is a point on the line, and m is the gradient. Now, if we're to find then the equation of the normal, first of all I need to find the gradient, so that's the first step. I'm going to put when x equals 4 back into the equation for dy dx, which hopefully you remember gives the gradient not of the normal but of the tangent to the curve at any point x. We're going to find the gradient of the tangent at the point x equals 4 by subbing x equals 4 into dy dx. So when x is 4, dy dx equals 4 plus 9 over 2 times 4 to the power a half minus 4 times 4. So if we work that out, we have 4 plus now 4 to the half, square root of 4 is 2. 9 over 2 times 2 is 9, so that's going to be plus 9. And then we have minus 16. So working that out, 4 plus 9 minus 16, that comes to negative 3. So this is the gradient then of the tangent at the point P where x is 4. So what that means then is that we're looking for the perpendicular gradient to this. Hopefully you remember that when you're finding a perpendicular gradient, there's a simple 
trick that you can do and that is think of this as minus 3 over 1 just turn the fraction upside down and switch the sign so minus 3 over 1 becomes 1 over 3 uh, or minus 1 over 3 and then switch the sign and you get a third so therefore let's just tell the reader what we're doing so therefore the gradient of the normal gradient of the normal okay at p is one third okay so we're now in a position to find the equation of that normal because I'm going to use this version of the straight line equation we've got m it's a third and we've got x1 y1 because that's the point p x1 being the uh, value 4 and y1 being the value of 8 so always come in with an introduction well that's what I believe anyway um, you should tell the reader what you're doing so therefore uh, the equation of the normal okay normal at P is okay and what it is let's just move that up a bit more it is going to be y minus y1 y1 being 8 equals m the gradient of the normal which we've now discovered is a third then it's times x minus x1 x1 is the x coordinate at p there we go now to get it in the form that uh, they require I could multiply out the bracket but it is better really to multiply by the 3 here so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 and so therefore I get 3y minus 8 3's are 24 equals and then on the right hand side here we're just left with x minus 4 we're nearly there now just look at what we've got to prove and we see that all I've got to do is add 24 to both sides and that will give me 3y equals x plus 20. So there's your equation of your normal.